Hi everyone, Lorella here from Le Salon des Arts. How are you all today? I hope you're doing very well and enjoying your weekend. We have a sort of greyish overcast English weather at the moment. Um, it's supposed to be summer, but uh, I'm sure the sun will uh, appear at some point. Anyway, I just thought I'd say something which has just occurred to me um, as far as the creative process is concerned and I had this vision just now and I thought I'd share it with you. So the first thing is sand. So you've got a whole load of sand around you in everyday banalities and uh, vulgarities and things that perhaps you don't like so much. Um, so but that's a good thing because knowing what you don't like actually leads you to refine what you do like and so if you see it like sand the stuff that you don't really like say you go and see a film and you think ah oh, that's pretty pants that film um try and actually sort of figure out what you do not like from that film and then from that sand if you like of banality or vulgarity or whatever it is dumbing down is another of one of my pet things today, uh, pet peeves let's say, um, try, try and sort of refine that sand so that you, it's almost like putting it through a sieve and through that, it, the result of that refinement through that sieve is the small little grains or the little treasures, the gems if you like that come out of it and that's what you discover that you do like. So from you, what you don't like, you sort of um, refine it to the scent, to the to the moment that. Sorry, I'm getting my words uh, in and out today. So you refine it so that you actually get some gems out of it. So you refine your taste. You refine what you do like. So from what you don't like, you refine what you do like if that makes sense I hope it does and then so once you have from this sand you sift out these gems so you discover what you do like and then you can make that your own and the vision that came to me just now is that you carve out uh, pictures or friezes or whatever it is I can't remember what they're called at the moment but they're really lovely sort of um, kiboshes I think that you know with the profile of the white face um which i love I, I can't remember what they're called if you remember then please do do write it in the comments and so from the from that those gems comes out your own adaptation of them and that is what the creative process is in a in a in a very long-winded nutshell so from the sand which is the stuff you don't like you refine it so you get the gems which is the stuff you do like and then from the gems you make the gems your own by carving them or by whatever you know putting them in rings or whatever it is um, and that is what c comes out as your own creativity Whew, okay well I hope you understand what I mean if you don't then please do uh, let me know in the comments and let me know how you to define the uh, creative process and whether you agree with me or not um, and uh, I hope that you have a wonderful wonderful weekend bye bye